Welcome to Charged Up, the official podcast of your Colby Sawyer Chargers. I'm Ian Turple, and we'll be throwing it down to Anna after a few quick weekly updates. The women's basketball team took two losses against Castleton University and Emmanuel College this week, but junior Misha Cotton had a, her first collegiate double-double, recording 12 points and a game-high 12 rebounds against Emmanuel. The men's basketball team split this week after an electric 88-77 win against interstate rival New England College before losing to a good Emmanuel College basketball team. Junior Scott Lampron was the talk of New London on Friday after scoring 31 points on 10 of 13 shooting and knocking down five threes and also having three steals. Lampron credited his teammates for finding the open shooters as well as finally feeling good after breaking through his shooting slump. I think I give credit to my teammates, you know, they're, they're getting to the paint, kicking out to me, you know. I was in a slump the last few games, but shooters shoot, right? Absolutely. Yes, Scott. Dan Kegler became the head coach of the men's basketball team back on August 2nd of this year, replacing longtime head coach Bill Fody. Anna finally got time to catch up with the new head coach. Here she is. Welcome back to Charged Up. My name is Anna, and I'm here with Dan Kegler, the head men's basketball coach. Um, first of all, congratulations on your win last night. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. you guys having me on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard it was an electric crowd. Super fun. Yeah, no, our, our student body has been great just coming out, showing support for us. Um, you know, it's they create a good atmosphere that I think really helps propel us uh, with our energy to just get us some wins. Definitely, definitely. The crowd always helps. Um, so a couple key players last night, Connor Kelly and Scott Lamprin. Scott Lamprin had his career high. Is that right? 30, 31? Yeah, 31 points. Yeah. Uh, you know, Scott was huge. You know, he had a couple of tough ones. He had a, a, a tough mid-range step back that, that was a big shot at the time. And then uh, another deep three that uh, that was at the end of a shot clock. Um, you know, when Scott really gets it going like that, he's a very dangerous player. Uh, we just got to find ways to just keep him going. Um, you know, I think at times he's not getting enough shots for us. Uh, we just got to find ways to get him those looks, uh, and then he'll just kind of keep continuing to, to perform that way. Mm -hmm. And Connor Kelly had a good game as well? Yeah, Connor was huge. Uh, Connor just worked so hard for us. Uh, you know, he is really big on the, on the offensive and defensive glass for us. Um, you know, he had 16 rebounds last night, and um, and 16 big ones too. Uh, you know, he's going after it, battling those, those five men. They usually have like three, four guys around, around him, uh, going to the offensive rebound and he's somehow able to come up with those defensive rebounds for us, which are huge, uh, really strong boxing out. Um, and then, he, you know, I think an underrated thing that, that doesn't get statted is just how good he is verticality. Um, that was really big when those guards broke down our defense and got inside, he was able to go straight up and down and he bothered a lot of shots, even though he wasn't getting those blocks that come up in the stat sheet. Yeah, yeah. So last night, big win after a nice win last week, too. It is your first time as a head coach, correct? Yes. Yeah? How's it been going? Uh, this has been great. Um, it's almost surreal for me. Uh, you know, this is something that I've dreamed about for years. Um, and then to, to be in this position um, at such a young age. Um, it's a, it's an unbelievable opportunity for me. Um, you know, I was really excited to take over not only uh, as a head coach, but to take over at Kobe Sawyer. Uh, I think it was just a special place for me. Uh, a place that just fits um, a lot of what I'm about and, and who I am. Um, and I think I've kind of reciprocated that um, into the way that we run our program. Um, you know, I think that it's just been um, a good fit all around, you know, like uh, me to the players and, and the players to me. Um, and, and I think we've kind of starting to show that uh, we're starting to click a little bit. And, you know, we had some bumps along the road early on in the season, um, a lot to do with just injuries and, and have not having the, the proper bodies uh, available for practice every night. Um, we went a, about a week and a half, two week stretch uh, where we got down to a, at seven guys at one point uh, wow. practicing with. And, um, you know, but we have a resilient group. They work hard and um, we were, we're able to overcome that and um, get back on the winning track, which you see us on right now. And um, we're hoping to continue that going into Emmanuel tomorrow. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, the last coach he was around, I think, 27, 28 years. 29. 29 years, yep. actually. Yeah, wow. Big, big shoes to fill, somewhat. <laughs> yeah, um, but you know, I, I don't. I try not to think about it that way. Um, you know, the past is the past, and he had to put together a really great career here as a coach, and um, had some really successful seasons, uh, won a lot of championships and whatnot. Uh, but really, it's it's not really about 
building off of what he did. It's more about building what we are doing um, and trying to find ways for us to, to create our own mark on history. And, um, you know, I think we do that with our, our daily routine, how we put in the work every day. And uh, we're starting to build something special here. And, you know, I think it not only is going to continue on the rest of this season, but I think it's uh, we're in a position to really put a good product out on the court over the next few years. Definitely, definitely. Um, so you talked a little bit about your team, what you're about. Uh, what does your culture kind of look like? Yeah, I think we put together a culture of um, of hard workers. And, um, you know, we, we use the term win um, a lot. You know, when we break down our huddles, we say win on three. Um, and that's not just winning basketball games. Um, we, we like to look at it down to the minute detail of winning everything we do. Um, so that's, you know, every drill um, that we do in practice, every closeout that we do, um, you know, every offensive possession that we have, we're trying to win all of those. Um, and then it extends off the court. Uh, you know, we're trying to win in the classroom as well. Um, every homework assignment, uh, every test that we have, um, you know, being on time with, with things. Um, we just try to keep our program sharp uh, because I think that translates when we get on the court. Uh, just the way we carry ourselves, um, you know, I described to them winning isn't something that happens in March. It's not something that happens starting October 15th. It's how you carry yourself every day. Um, and I think that we, our, our guys kind of start to get that. And, and we have starting to figure that out, that it is how you carry yourself every day. And, and we're able to implement that into our playing style. And um, I think it just all is connected and it goes together. Definitely. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to throw it back to Ian. And thank you so much, Dan, for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it was a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. That's it for sports this week. We'll be back next year in 2022. For everyone here, good luck on your finals, Chargers, and go Chargers.